Let's talk about IgM and IgD. Both of these are membrane-bound immunoglobulins. They are found on the surface of mature naive B cells. Let us now study their structure properties and function. Immunoglobulin N constitutes about 5 to 10 percent of the antibody concentration in the serum. It occurs both in monomer and pentamer form in the body. As a monomer, IgM is present on the surface of B cells. This IgM is known as membrane bound immunoglobulin M. IgM as monomer consists of two mu heavy chains and two light chains. Each heavy chain contains one variable domain and four constant domains. Now let's look at IgM as a pentamer. As a pentamer IgM, it is found in the secretions. In pentameric form, five IgM monomers are arranged in a star like shape. In this shape, the antigen binding fragments are outwards, and the FC fragments are towards the center. These monomeric units are held together by J chain. Recall that J stands for joining, and it is a glycoprotein. This J chain is responsible for the polymerization of IgM into pentamer. As you see in this image, the theoretically IgM pentamer has 10 antigen binding sites. But only 5 or 6 of them are available for effector functions because of steric hindrances. Still, this number of antigen binding sites is maximum among all antibody classes. Immunoglobulin M is mainly found in the blood. It is unable to move freely because of its large size and therefore it is not found in other body fluids. Half-life of IgM is about 5 days. It is the first antibody that is formed by the fetus. Also, it is the first antibody that appears during an immune response. IgM is the most efficient antibody which activates classical complement pathway. This is because of its large size with multiple antigen binding sites. A single IgM antibody can initiate the activation. IgM is very important defense against bacterial diseases. These antibodies are very effective neutralizers and prevent pathogens from binding to host receptors on epithelial cells. They do not act as opsonins neither they play a role in antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity. This is because specific FC receptors to IgM occur rarely on the surfaces of leukocytes. Let's now talk about immunoglobulin D. Structurally, IgD is a monomer. It has two delta heavy chains and two light chains. Each heavy chain has three constant domains. The hinge region of IgD is longest among antibody classes. It mostly remains membrane-bound. IgD is one of the main receptors on mature B cells. It is found on the surface of B cells in addition of IgM which together form the part of B cell receptor complex. IgD make up less than 1% of the antibody in the serum. It has a half-life of only three days. Its functions are unknown. But it seems that they play important role in recognition of antigens by B-cells and in signaling B-cells to start antibody production.